The 2022 governorship election also has come under heavy criticism inside and outside the team. Hmm. Which one? The, the Gubachoria? Vote by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is your own take on this? Listen, uh, we are still evolving as a democracy in Nigeria. We do not have an ideal democracy. I'm not thoroughly happy about the democracy we have in Nigeria. Party politics is still not funded by membership. It is funded by a few people who then make decisions. And sometimes the, it is sometimes pejoratively called the cabal, sometimes pejoratively called the system. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no doubt about it that because the party is funded by a set, uh, some a very few people, they then decide that, yeah, the major decisions of the party will be very heavily influenced by them, okay? And what that does, it, it relegates a lot of members into job seekers and uh, uh, position seekers. That is not good enough. That is not democracy. That is not ideal democracy. They, I'm looking to the day when 90% of the funds used by party, by the party, is funded by the political, by the members of the party. Mm. That's what democratic party politics is to me. That's number one. We don't have that yet. The other issue is the secrecy of the ballot. That has not been fully established yet. It is the lack of the secrecy of the ballot that even allows any discussion about vote buying. Okay. Okay. That's, the, that's what allows the, the, the issue, the discussion of vote buying. Now, you can, till tomorrow or the day after, you can still tell somebody that if you vote for me, I'll give you money. And then the guy goes and says, then you win and say, I voted for you. Now, if you have no way of finding out whether he voted for you or not, and you give him money for voting, that's your problem. But if you have a situation where we permit somebody to thumbprint, then show you that <laughs> he's uh, giving you money, and then you, you want to win. You want, I mean, okay, I'm not making that accusation of anybody, but we have to say something may have occurred, how could it occur at all? Okay, if we want to prevent that, then we have to all agree on the secrecy of the ballot. Mm. So if we have politics, party politics, owned truly by members, if we have secrecy of the ballot, you will see a situation where the democratic ideals will be better uh, uh, approximated and leaders will sit up. See, if you don't have party politics funded by people, then representatives will pander to that cabal or to that system rather than to the people who elect them. And if you don't if you have the secrecy of the ballot, then the people who are elected will know, if I don't do well, there's nobody who will protect me except the people who are going to vote. So, so I, uh, uh, that's my own broad view about this. Uh, I do not believe that anybody won this election purely because of money spent. 
Okay, I do not believe so. Uh, if you look at the numbers and so on, you, it's not as if every one of those was given 5,000 or 10,000 or this. It is possible that the promise of money brought some people out who would not have come out to vote. And even those who voted one way or the other may not have gotten a penny. But the fact that they heard that people were being given money, they came out and voted. But I believe that in every election cycle, especially if INE continues along this path of beavers, of voting, of being accredited, of accrediting and voting at the same time, and of reducing the distance between when you thumbprint and when you drop the ballot into a box. That's really what it is. I mean, if you, you have people thumbprint behind a curtain, and even bef before they get out of that curtain, drop uh, the uh, ballot into a, a uh, ballot box so that nobody, they can't show anybody that uh, ballot paper then the secrecy will be maintained and then there will be no issues of vote buying. I mean, Nigeria has a way of, uh, of finding out some other way of doing things, but uh, at least those two things will have been maintained. Yeah. People of the Fountain.